Uh, when first ChatGPT came out near the end of last year, uh, our team at Bintel Ammo were all very excited. But then we got a little bit worried as well, worried about its proprietary nature, such technologies only in the hands of uh, a few. But then we thought to ourselves, if LLN follows the path of operating systems or relational databases, there will be a really, really a compelling challengers coming from the open source world, coming to challenge the position of uh, 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 GPT in just a few years. Uh, we were completely wrong. It wasn't a few years, so just a few months. Uh, starting in February, when uh, Llama, Llama was released by Meta, uh, was released for just uh, research purposes. But then soon after, within a week, its ways got uh, leaked. But that turned out to be just a, a blessing in disguise. Uh, it sparked a series of uh, uh, innovations like Vicuña and uh, Alpaca. Not only it's a uh, train to follow instructions, but also it's a challenge getting closer to the performance of GPT-3 at the time. And uh, Llama is not the only player in the game. We also have uh, MPT, which is known for its large uh, contact sizes. Uh, we also have uh, uh, <coughs> um, Falcon, who briefly took the reign of uh, Llama. Um, but then Llama 2 released. It changed the game all over again. Uh, the cycle just repeats. We have innovation coming out from Llama 2. And what we learned from here is that these open source LLMs are really powerful, and uh, uh, the in innovation in this space happens really fast. So the question is, should you be running your own open source LLMs? And uh, I am Sean. I'm from Bento ML. I'm here to talk to you about how to use Bento ML and Ray to productionize your LLMs, uh, open source LLMs to be specific. And the tape, I think the title itself is already giving away the answer, and yes, we do think you should be running your own open source LLMs, and for three reasons, customizability, uh, data privacy, and cost efficiency. And let's address the most important problem in the room. It's the quality of open source LLMs. Are they on par with GPT-4? And with the really recent uh, research done from AnyScale, the Ray Conference, um, it suggests that uh, Llama 70B is actually getting uh, the factuality of GPT-4, uh, performing close or exceeding the human level of uh, reasoning, and far beyond the performance of GPT-3.5. So with that out of the way, uh, we know that uh, open source LLMs not only are closing the gap, if the gap is not already closed, let's talk about the specific benefits. First of all, it's customizability, or you can you pro probably hear the word domain-specific model refinement. So LLMs, are really good at handling domain-specific tasks. To achieve this, you can fine-tune your pre-trained base model with a data set of your own. Say, uh, for text summarization, you can fine-tune it to uh, in the tone of Harry Potter books. Or you, you actually don't need a lot of data to do this, and there are techniques. You can only have a few hundred samples, data points. You can get pretty quality results. And if you don't feel like training your own data, uh, training your own model, there are pr plenty of pre-trained models on Hugging Face. There are over 20,000 pre-trained uh, uh, text generation model there available. It's great growing at a rapid pace. When should you be fine-tuning your own model? Uh, research show that um, for tasks that are, require low reasoning capabilities, uh, fine-tuning, actually fine-tuning fine -tuning smaller uh, parameter size model can outperform GPT. And in the second columns, it's uh, SQL generation against a specific database schema. SQL is well understood uh, within uh, LLMs, so therefore fine-tuned in the darker shade represents the base model performance, and the lighter shades represents the performance after fine-tuning. Even with the smaller model parameter sizes of 7 billion and 13 billion, it can outperform GPT-4. However, GPT-4 outperforms um, the smaller or the open source models on tasks that require a lot of reasoning uh, in the third groups of columns, which are word problems from grade schools. And uh, uh, great, GPT-4 outperform even the 70 billion parameter size of uh, uh, Llama. So um, with that out of the way, we, sh we think the first reason we think you should run uh, open source LLMs is uh, the ability to fine tuning on domain specific tasks. Second is data privacy. So members from our community from Killing come to us, express the concern that they worry that their data will be used to train for the next generation of LLMs for the third party model providers in a way that their data will be leaked as the model gets released. Um, so 
running your uh, own model from uh, uh, your own open source model within your, your, your virtual private cloud won't have this problem because your data will be strictly contained within your VPC. It will never leave your network boundary. A lot of the open source model providers release their uh, training data so you know where the data come from. You can transparently pass on to your client so you're not worried about potentially leaking or generating copyright infringing uh, contents. Lastly, uh, 